Welcome to this thought-provoking journey into the life and legacy of one of the 20th century's most iconic figures, Ernesto Che Guevara. In this video, we will delve deep into the captivating story of Che's captivity, his revolutionary ideals, and the enduring impact he left on the world. From his daring escape attempts to the controversies surrounding his execution, we'll uncover the intricate layers of history that shaped his narrative. So, let's embark on this exploration of Che Guevara's tumultuous journey, his struggles, and his indomitable spirit. Ernesto Che Guevara, born in Argentina in 1928, emerged as a charismatic and iconic figure in the 20th century's revolutionary landscape. Trained as a medical doctor, he embarked on a transformative journey across Latin America, where he witnessed the stark inequalities and injustices that plagued the region. Guevara's encounters with poverty, exploitation, and social upheaval ignited his passion for radical change. Inspired by his travels and exposure to Marxist ideas, he joined Fidel Castro's revolutionary movement in Cuba and played a crucial role in the successful overthrow of the Batista regime in 1959. Guevara's commitment to global revolutionary struggle led him to engage in various liberation movements, advocating for the overthrow of imperialist forces and capitalist systems. By the mid-1960s, Guevara's attention turned to Bolivia, where he believed a rural-based guerrilla movement could spark a continental revolution. His attempt to replicate the Cuban model, however, faced numerous challenges. Operating in unfamiliar terrain, cut off from crucial support networks, and facing the opposition of both local authorities and international interests, Guevara's guerrilla campaign encountered significant setbacks. As Guevara's guerrilla efforts faltered, he found himself increasingly isolated and hunted by Bolivian forces. In October 1967, he and his dwindling group of fighters were surrounded and captured in the remote region of Valagrande. The circumstances of his capture marked a turning point in his revolutionary trajectory, leading to his subsequent imprisonment. The Bolivian government, under President Rene Barrientos, viewed Guevara's presence as a threat to the stability of the nation and a challenge to its alliance with the United States during the Cold War. Collaborating with U.S. intelligence agencies, Bolivian authorities launched a concerted effort to eliminate Guevara's guerrilla movement. They employed a combination of military force, intelligence operations, and local informants to track down and capture Guevara and his followers. The motivations behind the Bolivian authorities' actions were multifold. First, they aimed to quell any potential uprising that could disrupt the established political order. Second, they sought to demonstrate their allegiance to U.S. interests and the broader Cold War anti-communist agenda. Finally, capturing Guevara held the promise of a symbolic victory that would weaken the appeal of his revolutionary message and ideology. Upon his capture, Che Guevara endured harsh and degrading treatment. He was held in a makeshift cell in the town of Los Angeles, Aguera, Bolivia, with inadequate sanitation and minimal provisions. Guevara's captors, likely under orders to extract information, subjected him to intense interrogations, physical discomfort, and psychological pressure. Despite his iconic status, Guevara was treated as a common criminal, stripped of his revolutionary aura, and placed in a vulnerable position. Cut off from his revolutionary comrades in grappling with the reality of his situation, Guevara's mindset underwent significant shifts. His unwavering commitment to socialism and anti-imperialism remained steadfast but he also confronted the limitations of his own strategies and the complexities of implementing change through armed struggle. Guevara's writings and reflections during captivity reveal his deep contemplation of revolutionary theory and practice. He grappled with questions about the nature of sacrifice, the role of armed struggle, and the potential for revolutionary success in the face of overwhelming odds. During his captivity, Guevara endured harsh conditions, both physically and mentally. He was wounded in the leg during his capture and was unable to receive proper medical treatment, which led to an infection that further weakened him. Reports and testimonies from those involved suggest that he was interrogated and questioned about his activities, his revolutionary beliefs, and his plans for insurgency. While there is no concrete evidence that Guevara was systematically tortured, it's known that he was subjected to psychological pressure and mental anguish during his captivity. The Bolivian military forces intended to break his will and extract information about his comrades and his revolutionary agenda. On the morning of October 9, 1967, Guevara was informed that he would be executed. He requested to see his wounded comrades first and then asked to see the executioner, a Bolivian surgeon named Mario Turin. 
Gravar reportedly shook Turn's hand and told him, I know you've come to kill me. Shoot coward. You're only going to kill a man. Chikavara was then led to a small, dirt-floored room adjacent to the schoolhouse, where he was to be executed. He was seated on a stool, and Turn was instructed to aim for Guevara's heart to ensure a quick death. At 1.10 p.m., Turn fired his semi-automatic rifle, hitting Guevara in the chest. After Guevara was shot, his body was placed on a stretcher and displayed to the Bolivian president, Rene Barrientos, to confirm his death. The body was then transported to Valagrand where it was displayed to the public in an attempt to prove that Guevara had been killed. On October 15, Fidel Castro informed the public about Guevara's death. Guevara's death was recognized as a heavy blow to the socialist revolutionary movement in Latin America and around the world. Local residents began to consider Guevara a saint and turned to him in prayers, asking for favors. Guevara's body was then secretly buried in an unmarked grave near the airstrip in Valagrand. The location of his burial remained a secret for many years, and his remains were eventually found and exhumed in 1997. His remains were later returned to Cuba, where they were reburied with full military honors in a mausoleum in Santa Clara. Che Guevara's captivity held profound international significance due to its occurrence within the tumultuous context of the Cold War. The global ideological struggle between the capitalist West, led by the United States and the Communist East, led by the Soviet Union, had created a complex and competitive geopolitical landscape. External powers, most notably the United States, played a pivotal role in supporting Bolivian authorities' efforts to capture and neutralize him. The U.S. government, concerned about Guevara's potential to inspire revolutionary movements across the continent, actively provided intelligence, resources, and support to the Bolivian military and intelligence agencies. News of Che Guevara's capture and subsequent execution reverberated across the world, eliciting diverse reactions and responses. Many countries with leftist or anti-imperialist leanings expressed outrage and condemnation over his treatment. Guevara had become a symbol of resistance and a rallying point for revolutionary movements, and his capture was seen as an affront to those ideals. Revolutionary groups and activists from different parts of the world lamented Guevara's demise while pledging to carry on his legacy. Demonstrations and protests erupted in major cities, demanding justice for Guevara and rallying against the perceived oppression of imperialist forces. Prominent figures in the global political and cultural sphere, such as John Paul Sartre and Pablo Neruda, condemned Guevara's execution. His life and revolutionary endeavors had transcended borders, making him a figure of admiration for those who sought social justice and change. As we conclude this journey into Che Guevara's history, were reminded of his enduring influence, his escape attempts, the controversies surrounding his death, and the reactions from around the world shape a narrative that's both inspiring and complex. Thanks for joining us and remember to like and subscribe for more insights.